New at five, the third Botanical Sciences Medical Marijuana Dispensary opened its doors today in Stockbridge. Yeah, it comes just five months after the state approved the in-store sales of medical cannabis to patients. And 11 Lives Bo Beth Yates tells us that this new location gives people with a medical marijuana card access to the drug. She's joining us live right now. Hi, Bo Beth. That's right, Faith, and right now this is the first location to service the southern portion of the metro Atlanta area. Right here behind me is where they check that identification card, and those who need this medication say they're celebrating because now they're within 30 minutes of getting it. I did chemo two weeks ago, literally could not get out of bed last week, was on oxygen last week, and a feeding tube. And I'm standing here in front of you today because of this product. Medical cannabis patient Cheryl Faulkner is celebrating the opening of Botanical Sciences, the newest marijuana dispensary in the Stockbridge area. I am actually battling stage four liver cancer right now. And all of my doctors have given me all of this medicine, um, Dilaudid, which is synthetic heroin, methadone, Ambien, you name it. I had 46 different medicines. But Faulkner's son got into her prescriptions and passed away. As a result, she began looking for alternatives to manage her pain. And she says what she found changed her life. I don't take opioids as I'm battling cancer. I choose medical cannabis every single time. I'm functional. I can, I can live. I can get up where the opioids were causing me to be in the couch the whole time. But despite the benefits, people have been slow to register to purchase from a dispensary. Originally, we saw those numbers that looked pretty high. We now know the number is 13,000 and growing on a regular basis. But I think as patients and physicians become familiar with the nature of this program, we expect that demand to grow, certainly. Dr. Robin Fowler, the founder of Botanical Sciences, says they are not discouraged, and he believes supply will not outpace demand. Until it becomes available, it's not quite a reality. It's different being able to get something from another state, you know, having to go to that trouble, and also, you know, the legality of it. Whereas now, patients having access to medical cannabis within 30 minutes of most any location in Georgia, uh, I really expect the registry to start going up. Now, officials also tell me the number of people registered is tied to the number of dispensaries, and they say more dispensaries won't open until more people register. Sending it back to you guys.